right, hello everyone, it's Heather here, and today in this episode of Sons of the Forest, we are going to get the shovel in the shovel cave. I'm really nervous about this, just because, um... I'm like on day 145 or something, and uh, I heard that there is this theory that the number of mutants in the caves kind of like grows as you continue on to stay on the island and everything like that. I don't necessarily think I saw that in the rebreather cave, but I am kind of I am kind of worried that uh, there's going to be a lot in this one. Oh, man. So, uh, shit, I literally have no idea where to go. Where do I go? Don't know where to go. It's over here. Yeah, so I, uh, in preparation for this, I, I stayed up I stayed up and I uh, stayed out for the mutants so that uh, I had enough creepy armor to go around. And in my inventory, I still have quite a few. I have um, lots of the bone armor and then yeah, I'm almost full on the creepy armor. But you know what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, fill up the rest of my armor with the leaf armor because that means that the mutants won't be able to hear you. Be a little stealthy. And I think that that is important. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to go in the water then? supposed to go down that way? Wow. So, I mean, up until this point, I've been pretty familiar with this game because I have beaten it before, but it was like a month after it was in early access, so there's been a lot of changes since then. Um, so I can definitely say I knew the sequence of the caves that you had to hit up. I knew you needed to do the rebreather in the rope cave before you go into the shovel cave. Um, after this, I really am not too sure what needs to be done in this game and I really don't remember what to expect with uh, with this cave I can't remember except for that big open room where there's like a million <sighs> where there was like a million uh, enemies that were like in the in the actual room that has the shovel so I'm a little worried about that, but I'm stocked up on bombs and Molotovs and stuff like that. There's like two. They really shouldn't be able to hear me. <sighs> That one hurt me though.
Oh, no! I don't remember this. Oh god, there's one of our comrades. I don't remember that uh, that part. I just remember that in the uh, like cave with all the uh, remnants of the golden cube, you know? I could just have amnesia, though. Like, that's totally possible. One puppy. I usually like to use these little corridors as a way to just funnel them in. I don't know if they're gonna- if they could pass through, so I'm gonna just try to grab those dead puppies and get the creepy armor. Oh my god! Fat fingered. <laughs> that right there. And of course, now my computer is just totally glitching.
That's everything. Oh, I see him now. Okay. going to use a grenade. Where the fuck is he? Oh, 
go. Gosh. Oh, that sucks. He's just like in timeout. Is there something up there? Oh, that's creepy. You can see the shadow. This is where I'm going to die. These babies are going to kill me. Oh. so much. I feel like there's maybe a puffy just behind me.
this is the end part. Start to, I'm hearing stuff now. Okay. like a secret right here. Did you guys know that? I was kind of wondering if there's a secret uh, like chamber or something. I wasn't expecting it to be in the water though. Okay, so I just went in there. Go in here. that before. <gasps> nice. It's like an unexpected surprise. Oh no! I don't like those guys at all. God, I hate the babies. Oh, that was so rewarding. Suck it. 
My running theory about these construction workers is maybe they knew a cycle was going to happen and they decided to kill themselves and to uh, turn into one of the mutants. That's what I'm wondering. I wish we could see some emails or something about that. Like, oh my god, all these construction workers committed suicide at a certain period of time and it like coincides with the the cycle. I. So just before I got into this cave, I found an entrance that was close by and uh, you basically just go straight and then at the end there's like just this black hole that you look up at and I bet you that this is the cave that I'm going to be exiting out of is the same cave. Oh, I'm so glad it's daytime. <laughs> oh man, but it's fall. All right, guys. So that was the shovel cave in Sons of the Forest. Got another GPS location um, from that laptop that was in the middle of the shovel cave. I have a feeling I know what bunker it is already, and I probably have already went to this particular bunker, but I'm just going to check it out just in case. If it's something new, then something I'll put up on YouTube. If not, then uh, I don't think you need to worry about it. We'll just uh, catch you in the next one. So thank you so much for letting me put my game on for you, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, bye. Okay, so this location is actually one that I'm not familiar with. <laughs> so, thought we'd just uh, check it out. I am doing this at night, so hopefully we're going to be okay. It's taking me way longer than I thought it would to uncover that. There we go. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Oh wow, another one. The food bunker. Oh. Alright, I got the maintenance card. 
This afternoon, it was discovered that a painting from Mr. Cupton's personal collection has gone missing. If anyone has any information, please talk to me directly. All right, so for real this time, we're gonna uh, we're gonna end the episode here. We'll see you the next one. Thank you so much for letting me put my game on for you, and uh, take it easy. Bye.